Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today seated. So make your way to the top of your mat and make sure you've got lots of mat behind you to roll back onto. Now sitting tall with the legs long, if you feel like you can't get your spine straight, straight sorry, with your legs uh, straight, bend your knees and this will help you find your sit bones so that you can stack your shoulders over your hips and reach the arms out in front. We're going to breathe in, reach forward, draw the belly button in here and then exhale, sit tall. Stack the shoulders over your hips, breathing in, reaching forward. You can bend the knees here if you need to. And then exhaling out, shoulders stacked over your hips. Breathe in through the nose if you can and then breathe out through the mouth if you can. Finding that long posture as you sit tall and then breathing and stretching forward, reaching towards the toes, lengthening through the hamstrings, stretching out through the spine, warming up the body, breathe in, reach forward and breathe out, bring it up. Last time like this, inhale, tuck the chin, send your weight forward and then breathe out, sit tall. From here, slide your right knee into your chest. Your left hand comes to the inside of the right knee. The right hand goes towards the outside. Drop down off your sit bones and then extend that left leg. We pull the right knee. We switch to the left leg. We pull the right leg again and the left leg for a full version of one leg stretch, pulling one knee in as you extend the opposite leg out. See if you can peel your shoulder blades up off the floor to make it more challenging. Working every part of your core here and then putting a little bit of pressure on those hips, bending and extending through the knees, working the upper back and the arms. Last time, right and left. Now land on the left leg, breathe in here, exhale, rock up into a seated position and extend that left leg. Breathe in, we reach forward again. Exhale, this time we roll all the way down onto the mat. Breathe in, we make our way all the way back up again. So a little faster, then a roll up, we reach forward and then roll down. And then come straight back up again. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Breathing in, stretching forward, and then rolling back down. So really blasting those tummy muscles. Really starting to engage your core now as we stretch forward and then roll down onto the mat. Coming straight back up again before your head finds the floor and reaching forward. Rolling down to those shoulders. Last time coming up and then bend the knees. Walk forward on your hips and then place the hands to the backs of the legs. Squeezing your hands here now with your calves. We're gonna roll back onto our shoulders and then breathe out, bring it up. Inhale, roll, and exhale, bring it up. One more like this, breathe in, and breathe out, adding to it. Inhale, we extend the legs, exhale, we catch. Breathe in, we roll, and breathe out, we bring it up. So extend and catch. Roll back, and rock back up again. Extend, catch the legs, roll back, and rock back up again. Extend, catch those legs, roll back, and rock back up again one more time. Extend, catch the legs, roll back, and rock back up again. Feet find the floor now, place those hands behind the hips with the fingers spread, and bounce from right to left. So sending the weight to your right hand, to your right bum cheek, your left hand, your left bum cheek, and then lift the opposite hands. Hands. So as you go to your left, lift the right hand. As you go to your right, lift the left hand. Just bouncing, getting a nice stretch into those wrists. And then from here, we plant those hands down. You've Use every part of your hand. Walk the feet in closer to your hips. Breathe in, squeeze and lift those glutes up. And then tap the bum. And because your heels are close to your hips, your hips may not go as high as normal. But feel that nice stretch in the calves as we lift the hips up, squeeze and then lower those hips down. Breathe in, lift and squeeze, and then lower the hips. Breathe in, lift and squeeze, and lower the hips. Two to go like this, lift it up, and lower down, and one last time, lift up, 
and lower down. Extend the legs now, a little wider than hip width apart, but go with how your back feels. So if it doesn't feel nice with the legs wide, go a little closer together. If you can go wider, off you go. So fingertips in between the legs, chest is open, finding that tall spine, that perfect posture. And then on our exhale, we're gonna slide those fingertips out for spine stretch. Inhale here, and then exhale, rebuild, restack, relengthen. Breathe in, reach the arms up, circle the arms all the way around, plant the hands on the floor, point through those toes, lift the hips up, inhale, and then exhale, release the hips to the floor. Breathe in, just sit tall, fingers between the legs, and exhale, round forward. Inhale here, and exhale, rebuild, restack, relengthen. Breathe in, look up, reach up, circle the arms all the way around, hands find the floor. We lift the hips and we point the toes and then we lower the hips back down. Flex through the feet, reach up this time. Find more length, biceps by your ears, fold forward like a Mexican wave. Maybe you get a little further forward here, breathe in, feel the stretch, exhale, rebuild, restack, re-lengthen. A little different now, breathe in, reach the right arm up, circle it around, plant the hand down. Inhale, left arm by itself, circle it around. Inhale, we point the toes, lift those hips, even if it's just for a second. Lower the hips to the floor, flex the feet, sweep the arms up. Mexican wave forward on your exhale, fingertips find the floor, deep breath in. Exhale, rebuild, restack and re-lengthen. Inhale, right arm up, circle it, follow the arm with your head, with your gaze, left arm circles all the way around too. Plant the hand on the floor and point those toes, we lift the hips up. And then we lower the hips down with control. Flex the feet, breathe and sweep the arms up. Breathe out, fold forward, feel the stretch, inhale. And then exhale, rebuild, restack, re-lengthen. Last time, inhale, right arm goes up as if you're doing back crawl in the water, left arm. Circle, follow the arm with your gaze, plant the hand down. Inhale, point those toes, lift the hips, and then lower the hips to the floor. Two legs joined together for the full roll up now. We're gonna inhale, reach forward, add a pull. So a one, two pulse, exhale, roll down to the mat. Inhale, the arms come up and over. And exhale, use the breath. <sighs> Breathe in, reach forward, add that pulse. Exhale, roll down onto the mat. Inhale, the arms up and over. Exhale, use the breath to come all the way up. Breathe in, pulse twice. Exhale, roll down onto the mat. Reach the arms up and over. Breathe out, make your way all the way up. Last two, breathe in, pulse twice. Exhale, roll down onto the floor. Breathe in, arms up and over. Breathe out, make your way up. Last one, breathe in, pulse, one, two. Exhale, roll down to the floor. Inhale, the arms up and over. And exhale, you use your breath to make your way all the way up. Another rolling exercise now, we're gonna do seal. So soles of the feet together. Easier version, your hands to your knees. Full version, palms facing up. Just take hold of your ankles and lift the feet up off the floor. Pull your heels towards your hips, tuck the chin in. Breathe in, roll back. Exhale, roll up again. And then you add your clap, clap on either end. So breathing in, you roll back, clap the feet like a seal. And then come up, clap, clap. Breathe in, roll back. Clap the feet twice and then bring it up. Clap, clap. So breathing and scooping through those tummy muscles. Clap, clap. And if you don't have time for that movement in the feet, don't worry. Even rolling in this position is a new challenge itself. Keep that chin tucked so you're not looking back to see where you're going. Scooping in through those tummy muscles. Roll and clap. Bring it up. Clap, clap. Last time. Breathe in. Clap, clap. Exhale it up. Clap, clap. Okay, we're gonna flip over onto all fours. Hands in line with your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. Starting off with a simple cat cow with a little twist. We're gonna inhale, lift the head, allow the belly to drop and your bum to rise. So extension of the spine. Exhale, rippling into that rounding reflection of the spine. Breathe in, reach those hips back, press the armpits down towards the thighs and exhale lift it back up find your extension lead with the head belly dips bum rises tip from the tail tucking under rounding like an angry cat into flexion 
Breathe in, reach those hips back, press the armpits down. And exhale, find that neutral or straight spine. One last time, breathe in, lifting into extension. Exhale, tipping into flexion. Breathe in, reach the hips back, press the armpits down. And exhale, find that neutral spine. Walk the hands forward now, ahead of your shoulders. Slide those knees slightly back. We're going to inhale, reach the hips back, press the armpits and the chest down this time. Exhale, ripple the spine forward, as if you're about to pounce on something, like an animal. Finding a half plank position. Inhale, we bend the elbows and lower the body down to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up into that lovely extension. Exhale, lower it down. Press the hips into the floor. Do the same thing again. Breathe in, lift up, drop the elbows towards your hips. And exhale, lower it down. One last time, breathe in. Flowing up. And then exhaling, lowering down. This time, lift everything. Arms and legs, squeeze your elbows into your ribcage. Release with control. Breathe in, lift and squeeze. And then release with control. Breathe in, lift and squeeze. And release with control. Last two, lift it up. Squeeze the elbows into the rib cage. Lower it down. One last time, lift up. And lower it down. Fingertips come wide of the shoulders. Widen those knees, heels together. Add a little sway. And then bring the heels back together. Breathe in, peel the chest up. And exhale, lower it down. So working through the hands here, the wrists, the chest and the upper back and lower back down. Breathe in, peel up, press the hips and the pubic bone into the mat and exhale, release it back down. Breathe in, lift, squeeze through the glutes, squeeze through those heels and then lower back down slowly with control. Breathe in, peel it up and breathe out, lower it down. Last two, breathe in, peel up and breathe out, lower it down. And one more time, inhale, peel up and breathe out, lower it down. Hands to the lower part of your back for double leg kick. So holding a hand, two legs joined together, elbows frame the waist. We inhale, kick twice, exhale, stretch and lengthen. Breathe in, kick, kick and exhale, stretch and lengthen. Squeeze those legs together. Lift the knees up off the floor. Feel the legs engaging as well as the chest, the upper back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Extend and lengthen. Last two. Stretch it out and then one more time. Now hold this position. Kick from the hips, up, down, up, down as fast as you can. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Last two breath cycles and one more and then lower those legs. Hands come in underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Reach or push the hips up. Reach the hips back now. Breathe in, feel that stretch. Exhale, tip forward into a half plank again. Breathe in, bend the elbows, lower the chest back to the floor. Relax the arms down by your side now. We inhale, lift everything up. And exhale, lower everything down. Breathing in, lifting everything up again. And exhaling, lowering everything down. Breathe in, lift it up. And lower it down. Two to go and then we're going to hold it. Breathe in. And breathe out lower. Last time. And lower down. This time lift and hold. We kick from the hips, up, down, up, down, as fast as you can, swimming with straight legs. Pull the chin in. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last couple here. One more, and then release it down. Hands come in underneath those shoulders, deep breath in. Exhale, push yourself up and reach those hips back. Press the armpits to the floor. Take a moment here, bend your right elbow to the mat, and then lift it up. Bend your left elbow to the mat and lift it up. One more time, breathing in, dropping down. And then left elbow and lift it up. Okay, ripple forward, deep breath in. 
Exhale, ripple forward into your half plank. This time, tuck the toes, lift up into a full plank. Hold here for three, for two, and for one. We lower the knees down on an inhale or an exhale. Reach the hips back, keep those toes tucked under, press the armpits down. Take a moment, bend your right elbow to the floor and lift it up. Left elbow to the floor and lift it up. One last time like this, right elbow to the floor, lift it up. And then the left elbow to the floor and lift it up. Breathe in here on your exhale, ripple the body weight forward into your half plank position. Inhale, lift up into a full plank and hold again for three, for two and for one. Lower the knees down, reach the hips back. This time just hold, sinking the elbows, toward, or not sinking the elbows, sinking the armpits towards the floor. Tuck the chin in and then lift the chin up. Do this again two more times, chin in and chin up. One last time, chin in, chin up. Look where you're going, deep breath in. Exhale, ripple forward into your half plank. Lift those knees up into a full plank and hold for three for two and for one. We're gonna send the right knee in between the two hands and then send that right heel towards your left hip or under your left hip. From here, untuck those left toes, so you're in a pigeon pose here. Plant the hands down and then just hop from hand to hand, loosening out through that right hip and the glutes. But if it doesn't feel nice, you can stay in a still position. And then we walk the hands forward and we fall forward. Either stacking the forearms and resting the head or stacking the fist if that works better for you. Releasing through the hips here, feel the stretch, hold it for one more second. And then plant the hands down onto the floor and peel up into a long extension. See if you can bend through that left knee and circle the ankle a couple of times. Change direction. And then from here, shift the body weight to your left hand, circle back with the right hand. See if you can take hold of your left foot with your right hand. And it's normal to cramp here in the, in the back of the leg or in your hamstrings. If you do, just extend the leg and tuck the toes under. And then we release, right hand comes to the floor, tuck those left toes under and lift that right knee up back into plank, send the left leg down to replace the right. Right hip towards your, right hip, yes, towards your left heel. Feel the stretch, lift up into extension, and then bounce from left hand to right hand. Loosening out here the, through the left hip. Notice if one side feels tighter than the other. And then we're gonna fold forward. So come back to center and fold the body forward again. You can use your forearms and rest the head, or stack the hand, hands or fist. So pressing your right hip down to your left heel, feel the stretch, breathe into it. And then plant those hands down, peeling up into a long extension. From here, shift your body weight to your right hand, circle around with that left arm, bending through your right knee this time, see if you can take hold of your right foot. Feel the twist, breathe into it. And then release. So from here, just roll over onto your left hip. Come into a seated position. Take hold of the, the legs or the backs of the legs and rock back onto the mat. Hug the knees in, gently rocking from side to side. And then allow the body to find a place of relaxation or a place of rest. So allowing the spine to relax onto the mat, the head to feel heavy, the arms and the legs to feel heavy too. Allowing your entire body to slow from the top of the head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Allowing your breath to fill up your belly. And on every exhale, see if you can let go that little bit more. Watching your breath, following the rhythm of the wave. Let go on every level.
Inhale, sending some movement to the fingers, the toes. Gently allowing that head to sway from side to side. And then welcome your knees into your chest one at a time, hugging the knees in, slipping the hands to the backs of those legs and rock from side to side. And then from here, take a deep breath in and breathe out, rock up into a seated position. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.